look strong. A strong enemy! Be careful! You won't get away! Molten Storm! Now! An opening! Yes. May you rest in peace! It's my turn! <sighs> I'm going! Dark Blade! Please! Yeah! Leave it to me. I'm up. Get back. Now. It's mine. Leave it to me. <laughs> It's my turn! <laughs> Everyone okay? Enemy, be careful. You won't get away. Molten Storm. Now's our chance. An opening. Let's go. Get back now. 
Let's go, Elisa! Got it! Sit! There! Now it's my turn! Got... I'm going! Dark Blade! Please! Now's our chance! I'll see to this! Not on my watch! Good luck! Thanks! My turn! My blade, calm as still water. Now! Just like old times. All right, got it. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I did it. Huh, 
Didn't expect you all here so soon. You used a few sneaky little tricks to find this place, didn't you? The thoughts and wishes of a number of people led us here. It might seem strange to see Erebonians come here to stop you. But we simply can't allow you to run free any longer! <laughs> I shall help put a stop to your schemes here, just as I did four years ago with your gospel plan. Huh? Wait, you... Four years ago, hmm? And those clothes... <laughs> really? This is just too much! What are you doing running around in that outfit again, Prince Olivert? Say what? The hell's the Imperial Prince doing here? I can't say I don't understand your surprise. All this while he's supposed to be leading the inspection team, no less. Now, now, everyone. I'm nothing more than a simple bard who's come to express his passionate feelings for Crossfell in his own way. I know Miss Witch is no longer accompanying you, but I'm surprised to find the Phantom Thief absent as well. When I heard that you lot were on the move, I naturally assumed he would show himself. <laughs> well, as I said before, there's a lot going on in the society at the moment. He got along with Abyss, so we had him sit this one out. We need to make sure neither of them decide to get in the way of us taking back the Phantasmal Blaze plan. <gasps> so, it all comes back to that. If you're planning on targeting Vita, then I won't sit back. We'll also have you tell us about this plan you're willing to go to such lengths for. Emma. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yes. To get closer to uncovering the mystery we were left with at the Infernal Castle. And to blow away the dark clouds covering the Empire in Crossbell. We shall shoot down your little experiments right here and now. <laughs> I'm starting to burn up! We might need to get a little serious if we're going to take you all on. Very well. We, Enforcers Number Zero and Number One of Ouroboros, shall be your opponents. Let's see what you've got. Can you draw the black flames out from me? All members of Class Seven, and Olivier as well, fight them with everything you have! Yeah! yeah! But of course. Come on, get me fired up! Class 7 and the debaucherous prince, hmm? Go up in flames? Fire! Now! Three, let's go! Leave it to me! <laughs> Leave it to me! <laughs> Not on <in> my watch! <laughs> I'm up! Second form? Damn! Yes! Dark Blade! Please! Leave it to me! Damn. Flame! Leave it to me! May you rest in peace! My turn. Sit. Now. It's mine. Yes. There. Now. I'll see to this. My turn. Now's our chance. An opening. <laughs> Not bad. 
<laughs> Guess I'll try harder. I'm up. My blade, calm as still water. Now! <gasps> Seriously? Yes. Pog the slow! Perfect chance! Attack! Leave it to me. You won't get away. Molten Hallie! Now's our chance! An Attack! opening! It's my turn! Dark Blade. Please! Me. <laughs> Not bad. We won! But stay sharp, everyone. <laughs> Fabulous! You guys are pretty good now. Way better than at the Infernal Castle. Sheesh. It's fine if you're excited. But if you go overboard, you'll end up destroying the tower too. Can't stand the heat? Get out of the kitchen. I'm still a bit ticked off that Abyss hasn't shown herself yet work out this frustration somehow. Don't worry, I won't burn the big guy back there. <laughs> Fine. Guess there's no stopping you. <gasps> He's coming. I know. <sighs> I remember this intense power. The blazing demon. So this is the power the Viscount faced. Celine, help me! Right. We'll seal those black flames away somehow! Been waiting for this for over a year! Make me turn up the heat! Just as much as the Radiant Blade Master did! <laughs> Let's go wild together! Yes. May you rest in peace. Fire damage! Let's go! Uh, spirit unification! I'm up! Get back! You little... Leave it to me. You won't get away. Molten Storm! Now's our chance! Now, everyone! Got it! Understood! Understood. <laughs> there! Yes! Dark Blade! Please! Now! I'll see to this! Let's go! Down! It's down! Now's our chance! It's happening! <laughs> Even better than I expected! Well done, Ashen Kid, little witch. 
The debaucherous prince and the other two weren't half bad either. Yeah, I'm really feeling it now. What do you say we keep this dance going? Good grief. Did you forget what we're even here for? <sighs> we were able to hold back his flame somehow. But we won't be able to last much longer. He truly is a demon. <sighs> How did the Viscount fight this monster by himself? Reen, if this keeps up... Yeah, I have no choice. Heed my call! Vala! Whoopsie! Still can't let you do that! A spiritual barrier? Oh, this again! Emma, can you break it? I can, but then I won't be able to hold back the fire! <laughs> Enough waiting! Let's get on with it already! <laughs> Bitten off more than you can chew, maybe. Thor's class seven. You were better than I'd heard. But it seems like this is your limit. I suppose we'll need to wait for Abyss or the others to... They're not the only class seven! Yuna! Kurt! And Muse! Huh? <laughs> the Black Rat! Suck on this! Tina! Ash! Sorry for the wait, Instructor. New Class 7 has arrived with backup. <laughs> We're here to rescue you! We managed to catch them off guard. Oh, man! <laughs> Did that guy seriously go down in just one hit? Y you all came! I'm grateful, but this situation is much too... It's dangerous here! Please get back! Not bad at all. You've got some potential, Blondie. Ah, oh, shit. Probably shouldn't think of him as human. <laughs> Is your dramatic entrance all done now? I applaud your spirit, but that won't be enough. Don't underestimate us. We'll show you what the new Class 7 and the Branch Campus are capable of. Beacon installation complete. Guidance systems online. The wireless connection with the Dare Flinger is complete, too. Well, come on! Call him over already! Tita, no! We're ready! Understood. Carrier ignite! Three, two, one, zero! Drop in two, lift off! Oh, wow! <laughs> Amazing! So, this is the new technology Reinford and CCF have been working on. These children certainly are impressive. Instructor! Come on! Now's your chance! Go! 
got it! Heed my call! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Acknowledged. I'll come with you. Come on now. For real? <laughs> I suppose we didn't take them seriously enough. But we've finally met the conditions now. It's moving! It looks different than it did yesterday. Very astute. You see, it didn't have nearly enough mana stored up then. Today things are different, however. Why, it may even be able to use its armament. It's been a while since I was in here last. This opponent doesn't seem like it's going to go down easy. Are you sure you can defeat it? It's smaller than the one I fought before, but it seems to have much more mobility. I sense a strange flow of mana in this one. Let's observe it and proceed with caution. Understood, Rain. Instructor, let me help! I guess it's pointless to try and stop you, huh? That's right. No way I'm sitting this out. I'm going to show you my crossbelt pride, no matter what! Huh? This is... I had a feeling this would happen. Indeed. This is a new power of your own making. Oh, he told me about this. A spiritual link between the old and new Class 7 through the Divine Knight. I can feel them all. Instructor Reen, Yuna, everyone. Yes. This feeling reminds me of Clown Solace. Oh? Ah, damn it. An undeniable connection between the old and new Class 7. They're coming! Everyone, get back! Let's go, Yuna! You bet, Instructor! This will be a tough fight. Be careful! It's my turn! Yeah! Look 
turn! It's my turn! Sit. My turn. It's my turn! There! Yeah. Sit. My turn! Guns! All right! You can't escape! Fire! I'm up! Get back! Now! An opening! We'll keep going for a Tomorrow. I must train even more. They did it. Confirmed. The orbital engine has ceased functioning. Oh, they were both amazing! Yes, they truly were. Huh, not bad. Yeah, we won thanks to everyone's help. Yours especially, Yuna. I hope my pride shone through. Well, I guess we were beat this time. I'm sure the professor won't like it. But it seems the experiment is over. Eh, no big deal. It was expendable anyway. Anyway... Hey! Why don't you three come out of hiding already? What was that? Wait a moment. <laughs> so you noticed after all, hmm? Vita? The Azure Abyss. I didn't realize she was here. No, that's just another one of her projections. Vita! I finally found you! What are you up to? Well, hello there, Emma and Celine. It's good to see you again. The same for Reen, Black Rabbit, and the rest of you. As for your highness and the new Class 7, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am the former diva of the Erebonian Opera House, and the second Anguis of Ouroboros. The Azure Abyss, Vida Clotilde! She's the missing diva? <laughs> I suppose no one would have thought to look for her here. <laughs> As for you, Campanella and McBurn, it's been half a year, maybe? Yeah, since you got voted down and ran off on your own. Tracking you down has been a real pain in the ass, you know. I heard your familiar Grianos got taken out. Which means, in order to send this mirage, you would have to be close by. <laughs> I won't deny it. Perhaps I'm in a bit of a pinch this time after all. Vida! Why? Why didn't you come back to us after you left the society? You even gave Grandmother her staff back! I will remain loyal to my master until my dying breath. In that sense, 
I will never truly return to the village as a witch of the Hexen clan. No! Her master, the Grand Master of Ouroboros. That said, the situation has changed lately. There are some things I would like to tell you and Grandmother. But putting that aside for now... Since I've shown myself, don't you think it's only polite to step out of the shadows too? Huh. <laughs> Fair enough. Huh? What? When did he... That orb. <gasps> huh? Who's this masked weirdo? Darflinger, are you getting this? What is this? Another one from Ouroboros? No, judging from the way they're talking... Instructor Toa, what's wrong? It's nice to meet you all. I'm called Azure Siegfried. I've come here today in lieu of the Chief of the Gnomes. The, the Gnomes? Aren't they? The ones who created the Divine Knights alongside the ancestors of the Hexen Clan. In lieu of the Chief? <laughs> Finally, you show up again! After a year and a half, no. Yours is a group that has been missing from history for hundreds of years. What does she mean, hundreds of years? What the hell is going on right now? It all seems like quite the tale. <laughs> the Gnomes. One of the two groups that knows the truth of what happened 1200 years ago. But this man before us is... <laughs> about time. I always thought losing you was a bit of a waste, but man, didn't expect you to show up again like this. Oh, you've met him before. Anyway, you look great. You're everything I'd expect from an enemy of Ouroboros. <laughs> I had planned to simply introduce myself, but we can make this more interesting if you'd like, agents of Ouroboros. Those weapons... Sorry, but our experiment's been done for a while now. <laughs> Going at it anymore here is pointless. No need to stick around for cleanup either. What's he doing? Is this an illusion like before? No! Be careful! Those are real flames this time! Huh, this heat is unreal! The Blazing Demon indeed. His power is absurd. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, we're done here for today. We still gotta bag Miss Witch, too. <laughs> That's right, I nearly forgot. Since I've got a big audience here, I can finally make my grand announcement. I am Enforcer Number Zero, Campanella the Fool. As the Grand Master's representative, I hereby declare our plan to reclaim the Phantasmal Blaze is now in motion. Uh. They're crazy. 
I'm glad I was able to witness such a unique scene. There is no need for further observation. Fall back for now, Siegfried. Understood. You three? So that's what he meant. Was that the Chief of the Gnomes? That voice, it sounded familiar. Huh? <laughs> well, putting that man aside... I think I like you. Might I call you C? Huh. <laughs> Do as you like. Another one? But it's different from the Divine Knight that showed up in Sutherland. Ashen Awakener, Class 7 of Thor's. Your performance earlier wasn't bad, but you're still a long way from being able to join in on our battle. You better brush up your skills before next time. on <laughs> I suppose I should be excusing myself now if I wait around here any longer I'm sure to be caught wait Vita after seeing all of that you're just going to leave without saying anything if you're being chased by Ouroboros we can help you and you don't need to worry about me. I already have people helping me. Also, cryptids and magic knights shouldn't appear in this land again for some time. I've disposed of the pleroma grass that appeared. <laughs> what? But don't forget, the story has already begun. The true story. The one whose ending I failed to change. The fairy tale that tells of the end of Erebonia, Crossbell, the entire world. Be careful, Emma, Reen, and everyone in Class 7. No idea. But we should know better than anyone that it would be impossible. That's true. Yes. We were all there for the burial. Oh. Are you alright, Elisa? You seem like you're in a daze. Oh, I'm fine. I think my brain has just gone numb after everything that happened. Lisa, are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I I'm okay. What about you, Emma? That's right. You were finally able to see her, but... No, I'm okay. I'm just glad I was finally able to see her face after such a long time. More importantly, we can see a little more of the big picture now than we could before. It seems to be related to all of our futures somehow. Yeah. The true story. 
A fairy tale that tells of the end? <sighs> Puzzling words indeed. Man, we pulled out all the stops to help. But even then, we barely made it through. Yes, as things escalate, it's becoming clearer and clearer that we're in over our heads. <laughs> hey now, what's with all the long faces? That's right. Stand tall, everyone. Huh? <laughs> Quite so. Were it not for your aid, we never would have been able to bring things to a conclusion. Yeah, your timing was perfect. <laughs> and I'm glad to see you were able to make such good use of the equipment I gave you. Yes, and it's thanks to you breaking the barrier that Reen was able to call Valimar. Well, when you put it that way, I guess they can be a little proud. Ah. <sighs> thanks to you, I was able to fulfill my orders. Yuna, Kurt, Altina, you too, Ash and Muse. You all did a great job. <sighs> but the members of the new Class 7 were the real stars of the show. Yuna was the one who worked the hardest. Agreed. You and Instructor Reen fighting that Ion was a sight to behold, Yuna. I, I was just trying to keep up with him the whole time. There's no need to be humble. It was clear to me that you put everything you had into that battle. The skills you learned from the police academy, your hard work at the branch campus, and all of your thoughts and wishes for your homeland. <sighs> Thank you, Yuna. You showed me the true pride of Crossbell. <sighs> of course, Instructor! To be seen off by the royal family is truly more than we deserve. <laughs> oh, don't concern yourself. Considering what you all accomplished this time, we are in your debt. Oh, your highness. <laughs> As usual, she knows how to please a crowd. <laughs> if we had more time, I would have liked to introduce you to those who were trapped in Michelin. They have all been freed, I trust. Yes, of course. I was able to contact Noel, Chief Sergei, and Dudley. They say Ellie and Speaker McDowell have returned safely to the city. I see. <sighs> what a relief. Oh, Ellie! I've met her before. You said you were going to see her after this, right, Elisa? That's right. We're planning to discuss economic and technological policies. I've heard a lot of rumors about her, but this will be my first time actually meeting her, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I can see the two of you getting along real well. Based on what I've heard, she seems to have a number of hobbies, much like yourself. I'm glad to see you've recovered, Sharon. Yeah, me too. It seems like your burns weren't very severe. <laughs> My recovery is due to the thorough care the doctors at St. Ursula gave me. I'm terribly sorry I was unable to be of use to everyone at such a crucial time. Gosh, I already told you, it's fine! Anyway, it seems like Ouroboros has their own weird drama going on. Indeed. 
The second Anguis is being pursued, and the Phantom Thief kept away. Yes. I guess we'll need to look into what's going on with them a bit more. Are you sure about this, Emma? Is it really okay for Celine to come with us now? <laughs> I should be fine by myself for a while. That aside, you need to figure out how to get that power of yours under control. But don't worry, I'll train you. Alright, thank you. Take care. Let me know if anything comes up. I will. Celine, please take good care of Reen. Yeah, just be careful. You're going to stay in Crossbell for a while, right, Machias? Yeah, this is where the real inspection work starts. I probably need to have a talk with my father as well. And finally, I want to speak with Governor General Rufus about Eusis. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no matter what you say, you two are close, aren't you? <laughs> I'm only doing him a favor now so I can rub it in his face later. <laughs> it went by so quickly. Yeah, but we'll see each other again before long. You're going to stay in Crossbell for a few days too, right, Elisa? Yeah, I'm thinking about heading back with Mother. There are a lot of things I want to ask her about. Those railway cannons, for example. My lady. I see. <laughs> Don't worry. After all, I'm the manager in charge of the development division. Let's each do our part in a way that only Class 7 can. I'm sure this will help us fulfill our promise, too. Elisa. You're right. Yes. Yeah, this is where we need to push through. <laughs> I don't know just how much more assistance I'll be able to give, but I intend to fight to the end, in my own way. Also, you have my thanks for going along with the selfish wishes of the wandering bard Olivier Lenheim. We have a lot to thank you for, too. You built the framework for Class 7. And we'd like to continue it in our own way. I'm glad to hear it. I look forward to seeing what all of you accomplish. As for the members of the new Class 7, I'm glad I was able to meet you. I feel the stirrings of a new wind from you all, different from your predecessors. Please keep giving it your all. You as well, Tita. Uh, yes! You honor us. Understood. <laughs> we'll do our best! Reen, everyone, please stay safe. This visit made me realize a great many things. Much like all of you, I don't intend to give up either. Princess Alfin? It's very reassuring to hear that. <laughs> but that aside... I'm dying to find out whether Reen is going to invite me to dance at the Summer Festival. Huh? Asking the princess to dance at the Summer Festival? That means... <laughs> it means one day, he might end up as more than just the princess's dance partner. What? Instructor... Is that how it is? Uh, no, I'm sure Her Highness is just kidding. Right? <laughs> Who knows? <sighs> That's quite enough playing around. You're overreacting too, Reen. Um. Alisa, Emma, Machias, thank you so much for helping my brother. As his sister, I'm truly happy to see your bonds with him have grown even stronger. <laughs> Elise. <laughs> Thank you, too. Hmm, you really have grown so much since I last saw you, Elise. <laughs> we have to make sure we don't get left in her dust. Uh, alas, it's true. It really is no fun teasing her lately. But... That makes catching her with her guard down all the sweeter. Oh... I'll 
Kazo, everyone from the branch campus. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to properly greet you, but I'm planning to visit your campus sometime and say hello. Oh, really? <laughs> You're welcome anytime. <laughs> yeah, more than welcome. I wish to make amends, so I'll be waiting for you. Make amends for what, exactly? Man, they sure do remind me of our group, huh? Yes, I'm a little envious. But I still believe we can get back what we've lost. Of course. Let's keep working at it, Tio Tot. If you say so, Randy. I'll see you two later. Say hi to mom and dad for me. I'll send lots of letters. So be good and take care. Okay? Okay. See you later, Yuna! Bye-bye, Kurdanali! We'll see you again sometime. Farewell. Are you sure it's all right for you to come back with us? Shouldn't you stay in Crossbell? <sighs> yeah. I was appointed to the branch campus because of a recommendation from the Governor General. I know the real reason behind it, so I've been dodging it. But uh, once I heard Shirley and the Red Constellation were creeping around in the Empire, I felt like I had no choice but to accept. What an awful thing to have happen. The Governor General was trying to send you as far away as possible so he couldn't interfere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But maybe it was the right thing to do anyway. Huh? Both on the surface and behind the scenes, Crossbell's mixed up in everything that's about to go down in Erebonia. So, I might as well give some covering fire. From way over in the Empire in a little town called Leaves. While I keep the students there in line. I'm glad. It's the same with me. Just like Randy said, if something happens to Erebonia, Crossbell will get dragged into it too. So for my family's sake, and the sake of everyone else in Crossbell, I decided to protect my home. In a different way from Lloyd and the others. And now, I feel like maybe there's a future. Where people from both Crossbell and Erebonia can laugh together, as friends. Now I'm really, really glad. I see. You're certainly impressive. Compared to the way you were the other day, you're a completely different person now. <laughs> you're gonna make something of yourself, Uni. I can tell. Hey, are you all just making fun of me? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> You're too good at this. Huh? Is that? Yuna! Randy! Rain! Blade of Wind, too. <laughs> Guess they were able to break out of the birdcage, huh? <laughs> 